Hello, this is Pamela, and you are on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. I'd like to say welcome to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is mostly all about crochet. Well, today's video is Whip Caddy Wednesday video, and you guys know what that means. That is where you guys get to show off all the projects that you are working on, all the beautiful, amazing um, afghans and scarves and whatever, amigurumis and all the wonderful things, and we all look forward to that. Well, so go ahead and grab you a cup of coffee, grab you something to eat. I am drinking out of the Say It Ain't Snow. Um, thought we was going to get some yesterday, but we didn't. <laughs> But, um, so yeah, just go ahead and grab you something to drink. I am drinking French vanilla coffee this morning. <laughs> There's nothing like the first sip of the day. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so, um, let's go ahead and just roll right on into the video and see what you guys are up to. Here we have Patsy's cart. She says that the second shelf is red and white yarn for the Valentine outfit for the doll using Pamela's adoring crochet pattern from Etsy. And um, I'm so glad you're making that. That is one of my first patterns that I believe I created um, in the beginning. The yellow and gray yarn is for a bag of day hat for herself. The bottom shelf is yarn for the Easter dress for her great granddaughter. The afghan on the floor is from last week and she said it's a bag of day video pattern and she needs to organize her cart. And yes, I need to organize mine too, Patsy. Now here we have Tanisha's. She says, hello everyone. And then on the top left in the red and purple is my um, easy pocket show pattern. I'm so glad you worked that. It's beautiful, the colors are. She said that she liked the shawl so much that she can see that she's making a black and gray one for herself on the second shelf. And yes, I love, love, love that one too. Both yarns are Fantasia from Ice Yarns. And on the top right, she's making the Jenny Lynn bulky scarf into a blanket with Premier Puzzle yarn in Hangman. Oh, that is a great idea. She said, thanks to the ones who shared their cards. The purple blanket on the second shelf is the simple crochet baby blanket pattern from the Secret Yarnery and is made with dark horse yarn. Sorry, it was discontinued a long time ago. And on the bottom shelf is the drunken granny baby blanket from the Secret Yarnery. And she hopes this inspires someone and for everyone to have a great day. And yes, your projects are inspiring others. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. So here we have Pam's whip table area. She says on top is a Sultan shadow cake from Hobie. Not sure what she's going to make with it yet, which sure is pretty. Uh, she's looking for some suggested patterns and that it is a fine two weight, 875 yards. The middle shelf is her temperature blanket crochet along with Dina's homespun fun. And she's got some cute stitch markers from Rose Likes Crochet. And the bottom green baby blanket that she hasn't worked on in a while. And to the left is her seed to sea that she's put in a timeout. And she had to frog some and got frustrated. The hand towel is from Cinnamon Stitches Crochet. And the washcloths are from my Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Everything looks great. Now here we have Jane's cart. She says that she has a Lazy Susan on the top shelf which holds her latest project pattern book called The School Nativity Play. She's got the star and one sheep done so far. And oh my gosh, I love those. I'm so glad you're sharing this with us. She said it also holds her phone holder so that she can watch YouTube videos and her hooks. On the middle shelf is a Minnie Mouse afghan for her daughter's birthday in May. And let's see, on the bottom shelf is an ongoing charity project Soap sacks, washcloths for the church mission trip in New Orleans in October. And that is so cool. I'm so glad you're doing that. Uh, my The slippers from my pattern. So thank you for doing the slipper, my slipper pattern. For the pink slipper project and the mini Christmas stockings for Warmth for Warriors. And she says, have a wonderfully blessed week, everyone. You have a wonderfully blessed week too, Jane. Man, you guys are amazing. Those are some beautiful projects. All right, let's go ahead and see what I've got going on. Most of it is, you know, I told you about the little giveaway, the Valentine giveaway. So I'm kind of working on um, my basket. Oh, let me show you my sister Tanya's basket. Here's what she's working on. Isn't hers neat? And look how she gets it to stand up so good. She is a tight crocheter. Um, she's already started on her hearts. She's got some pink and white. And she's got some red. This is for the crochet along that we've got going on. All you got to do is make a Valentine basket. Uh, put it on Facebook and put in Valentine, hashtag Valentine C-A-L. Or you can email it to me and there is a giveaway. Yarn and, I don't know, pair of socks, stitch markers. <laughs> I 
<laughs> a few other little things like that. But go ahead and get started. Um, I do plan on starting mine this week as well. Um, I really like the way that she put the red, white, and pink together. That looks really good, Tanya. You did a great job on that. All right, guys, if you're interested in entering this giveaway and you'd like to be part of this crochet along, um, get you some Valentine color yarns on that hook and get going. All right, so what I have on my hook, I don't have too much, um, believe it or not, but I made Charlie May a little hat. This is just one of my little doll pattern hats. And I uh, went ahead and went two extra rows and then my edging. Now, I did make two little flowers to go on this, but I'm not really liking the flowers. Um, I was going to put two on there. So, I've changed my mind and I'm going to make one big flower instead. I'm using the Hobie Kind Feather. And the color on this one, it's a three light, by the way. It's uh, 257 yards. 100% acrylic. The color on this pink is tan. And this is super soft. So I'm going to make her a uh, headband and um, the headband is going to have a big flower on it or maybe a big bow. <laughs> Probably a big bow. Anyway, so I'm making a headband and then finishing off the hat. I made the little turban hat for her and I am making another one because she's so small. So I'm working on another one for her. Um, it's going to be just like this, but smaller is all. And I'm using a, should be an, yeah, a G, a 4.0. And the same as the other one, I used a G 4.0. This is Hobie's We Love Yarn. Make a ball. <laughs> anyway, so I'm working on this one. And if you like this color, um, it is 416. There's like 1,300 yards in this thing. Oh my gosh, you can't beat that. And as you know, I'm still working on this, this little sweater. It's going to have long sleeves. This part is done. I've just got to add the sleeves and the edging and the buttons. And I will have a little sweater for Charlie Mae. It's so pretty. It's a free pattern off Yarn Inspiration. So I'll leave the link below for you guys. It's called um, Burnett Take It From The Top Pullover. And that's what it will look like. Free pattern. Okay, guys. So, I did go to Joanne. So, let's look at this yarn. I bought most of this so that I can make Charlie May some um, headbands. And one of the colors that I'm really excited about is this is six. This yarn was $6.99. And I got it on sale for $2.99. And it's the big twist. The color on this is rose, and she's got a lot of little outfits in this color. Look at that. So, I went ahead and grabbed this, and I thought I might make a hat and a headband. And I don't know. I want to make something else. I'm just not sure. Something else for that little girl that's wearable. Maybe I'll make two headbands, but just make them a little different. Maybe I'll do something like that. <laughs> anyway, so that's rose. I'm really excited about that color. Uh, let's see. I'm out of pink. Here at the house and so I grabbed one of these this was not on sales but I did use my 20% off coupon for it 380 yards a medium four weight yarn the color is medium rose and like I said I am I was plum out of pink <laughs> so I had to grab me some pink all right so I showed you the rose I showed you the pink um, I thought this would look real cute it's called big twist and it says party the color on this is Prism. Isn't that one pretty? $2.99 for that one also. And you have to get a little girl some purple in her life, right? This one is lavender. So I got two purples. You would think that's lavender. But this is periwinkle and that says lavender. So I got those two. Gotta have the purple. And I believe this one is probably, it says coconut. So I got this. I thought I might mix this color in with some of these other colors. Right, so I did get two hooks. I thought they were pretty neat. They were mm, maybe $3.99 or something like that. But they're just a G. I wanted a five so bad, but they were out of the fives. So I bought one of these for the giveaway. It's a 4.0. It's a Susan Bates. So that means it's a good hook. And so I bought one for myself. <laughs> I'm always using these G-hooks, and they're just, like, stuck everywhere. So, anyway. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and do our Be Still and Know. No longer captive. You did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. Romans 8, 15. 
When a slave is released from captivity, it is often hard for them to know what to do with their freedom. In fact, many slaves in biblical times would choose to remain servants, bond servants, to their masters, not knowing how to belong elsewhere. We probably don't relate to slavery the way the Israelites did, but we can understand feeling powerless over sin, emotions, or even in relationships. When Jesus defeated death on the cross, he introduced a way for us to be free from our former lives of captivity to sin and death. We no longer have to fear that old life. We have a new life that is living by the Spirit. We are children of God. When we truly understand our freedom, we can begin to let go of the areas of our lives that hold us back. Abba Father, thank you for freeing me from the power of sin and darkness. Thank you that I now belong to your family and I can live protected in your love. Help me to recognize the areas in my life that keep me from living in this freedom and give me the strength to let them go. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I just love doing that. So guys, that's all that I have for today's video. Um, thank you guys for submitting your uh, whip cards. We enjoy that so much. Whip Caddy Wednesday is just a great greatest video of the week, I think, uh, because I get to show off what things that you guys are working on. So I do plan on coming back on here tomorrow and um, showing you guys some more yarn. <laughs> and so we're going to take a look at that and maybe a few projects that I have finished as well. So yeah, that's all that I have for today's video. Just remember to live life and to have fun. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.